Sheila here, and today I would like to talk about some metaphysical medicine aspect that could be uh, handy when it comes to dealing with people who have toxic influence on you in the sense that they try to manipulate you to do things that are not in your best favor. And that thing is understanding fungi. For example, candida. Candida basically gets into your body and it makes you crave carbs and sweets. Now obviously large dosages of carbs and sweets are not good for you, but it's they're great for the candida to develop. This is just how people who have these influences that are not good for you but are good for them work. They get into your psyche whether by hypnotic commands, whether by psychological abuse, um, whether by grooming, they get into you and then they try to alter your choices in their favor. And that's not something that's in your favor. Some people are manipulative so that they can get you to act in ways that are good for you. But even those people, when they're in the ego, then they're toxic. <laughs> so what can you do from uh, the understanding of how this metaphysical medicine works? What can you do to help yourself? One of the things I use is essential oils and I cannot give you um, an aromatherapist advice. I give you this uh, tip as a user, not as an aromatherapist. I'm studying to be aromatherapist. Uh, but I cannot give you medical advice. This is not, I, I don't have, um, yeah, <laughs> I am not a doctor. So, uh, but I can give you my advices as a user. And what I do is use antifungal essential oils. First, if you have candida, if you have um, fungi, whether in the nails or at least food even. Pay attention to which food is at. The right food, fathers, uh, fathers, male figures, authority figures that are male. Left, the mother, females, authority figures that are females. Pay attention to the fingers. Then you can look it up. You can look at the metaphysical meaning of each um, a part in your body that you may have these fungi. Of course, th that's granted that you do keep your hygiene, right? Um, but the place in your body where you get sick has a meaning. And this is something we know from reflexology, for example, in the meridian, meridian-based medicine, Chinese medicine. So if you have a physical fungi, then you want to use antifungal essential oils. But you also want to pay attention to whose energy is this? Are you letting people alter your decisions in their favor? And what I use is oils like oregano, tea tree, grapefruit, and thyme. All these oils, especially oregano. Oregano you can't use every day because it's too strong. And what you want to do with these oils, some people say smelling them is enough, perhaps. I like to put them on my body. So if you do have an actual fungi, you want to put it where your fungi, you know, where your fungi is <laughs> to anoint it. Um, but if you don't, then try and see which part of you is getting manipulated. For example, it could be your feelings. And then you want to pay attention to what feelings. Are you manipulated by guilt or shame? Then you want to put it on the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra and of course the heart. Are you manipulated by thoughts? By somebody who makes you think different things. You want to put it on your third eye. Either way, wherever you put the oil, if it gets into your system and it will, then it's going to help you physically and emotionally. Now, great place to put oils in is this area, underneath the ears, here in the wrists, okay? And also 
behind your knees. So these areas are the lymphatic areas and they really help you to release things, especially if you have uh, lymphatic drainage oils. They're, they're also good to release things, but basically if we want to release manipulation and not just inner toxic stuff, then we would use antifungal. And this is also why oils like oregano are very, very good um, against infections of any kind, but also for purification. They kill the manipulative forces from getting into you. They just, it's, it's like the sage, and there is sage oil, but it's like the sage of essential oils. It's a very, very strong um, essential oil, but you don't have to go for the oregano if it's too strong for you. You can still go for the tea tree. Uh, you can go for the grapefruit, which is a wonderful um, oil that's very good also to release yourself emotionally for the thyme, which is a good for uh, oil for purging sometimes. I also find Mioran very good oil for purging. If I measure, I'm sorry, in Israel they call it Mioran. Mejoram is very good for uh, emotional release, but for fungi, uh, these are basically grapefruit, oregano, thyme, and tea tree. There are more oils. If you know of more oils, please write them in the comments below. Let me know if you're using essential oils already in this way. If you're using essential oils for emotional issues, uh, what are your recommendations? How do you use them? Make a video and link, and link it down below. That's, yeah, I wish YouTube had still had the video comments they had years ago. But you can make a video and link it down below or invite people to, uh, to your channel. I will also watch your video if, if it's related to this video. This is <laughs> not an invitation for spam. Now, if you want to get more videos on the topic, please make sure you subscribe and click the not notification bell. And you can find me also on Instagram. There I share some tips that I'm uh, learning along the way. So please comment, share with your communities, your crystal community, communities, your essential oil communities, holistic medicine communities, and any questions you have, any video requests that you have, let me know in the comments below. Below to this video, please like this video. If you do like this video, it's going to help you receive more notifications and more videos um, from me and from other users that are to your liking so you you earn from that and i earn exposure exposure from that uh too because then my video would be recommended when people like similar topics and haven't watched this video so if you do like this video please thumb up thumbs up <laughs> And if you want more from me, then subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.